Hey guys, um, I uh, I was at work last night, and uh, one of the problems with doing how tos is a lot of times I find myself down here. It's like three three fifteen, uh, and I know I got to start getting ready for work, and um, I'm like, what's a what's a a quick and easy how to that uh, that you guys might find enjoyable or informative or, or what have you, and, and a lot of the times um, when you're in that crunch zone, you can't you know think can't be creative on the spot so to speak so uh, while at work yesterday I uh, got out a piece of paper and uh, just in between getting things done uh, I came up with about 18 different how to's so uh, my goal is to try and put up a how to uh, every day or at least I'll have something on hand where uh, you know I should be able to do something you know fairly quick and easy something to uh, keep you guys uh, keep your minds uh, an imagination's uh, spinning, which is you know what I want to do. So uh, today's is, uh, video is going to be templates, and um, uh, let's see if I can get this up now. And it's not going to do it. Um, I've been uh, sneaking and watching games of uh, Guild Wars 2 when I can uh, when I can manage. Now what you're going to be seeing is some examples here. Of uh, templates. These are uh, 2D templates. Um, some of the templates you see are uh, are actually 3D. I uh, I was gonna show you how to do a 3D one, um, but uh, the uh, it didn't work. So I uh, you know from the jaws of defeat I snatched a victory, and uh, I'm gonna show you a different way to utilize that. Because uh, I don't want you guys wasting time working on stuff that's not gonna, not gonna work for you. Um, so without further to do, let's uh, let's check out some templates. These can be uh, for, like I said, um, these can be for um, uh, spells. These can be for uh, explosions. This is uh, one template uh, that I'm gonna show you, and this is another template. My first uh, one I was going to try and do is I was going to try and bend this in a circle. So you had a flaming circle. And uh, I found out that um, it didn't work out really well because of two things and I couldn't find a, a reconcilable difference to make it work. Uh, if I cut it too thin, uh, that it would actually bend in a circle like a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard. Um, it didn't glue well and it was was super fragile so um, not a not a, a, a good combination and I'm not saying that this isn't fragile this is what I came up with I actually went through uh, took the straight pieces uh, cut them and as you can see it's it's pretty doggone thin it's not you know I mean you can see my fat finger and how thin that is but you know, if you're not going to be, you know, slamming your fist down on it or, you know, and like, it's very light. I can drop this thing all the way to the floor and it's not going to hurt itself. I can drop it upside down, still not going to hurt itself. Doesn't have enough weight. Doesn't have enough weight to, uh, to snap those pieces. So, uh, as long as you recognize uh, that it's an adult toy, well, I'm going to get jokes on that one, um, it'll be fine. So. The second thing I'm going to do, so that's one, that's like a flame wall template. Um, some of them function as area effect as well, so it's not just keeping it vertical so so much, but it also does function as a, as a area effect uh, along with uh, flame walls, or it could be like a napalm drop, whatever it is you want to use it for. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you how to take this and make a really impressive uh, looking spell effect if I can find a brick and or stone. Oh, there it is. Okay. Sorry, guys. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Good. Okay. So, what I did is I took uh, a cup or a bowl or something, and I got this inside quarter edge. Then what I did <clears throat> is... Uh, I, I found my points. I actually hand drew this all the way. It's not perfectly symmetrical. What you really want to do is you actually want to do half of it and flip it 
and then it'll be perfectly symmetrical. But uh, this has been hand drawn, this has been hand drawn, um, so it's not perfect, but uh, it's close enough that I don't think the eye will notice the difference. So, <clears throat> got my heat gun on uh, low, not on high, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take these four separate sections and I'm going to hot glue them together into a circle. So, here, here we go. I also cut them a little, just a tiny bit uh, thicker to uh, give the glue something to, to really connect with. And I highly suggest while it's still malleable, that's when you twist it off. If you wait, um, you might find that it's the foam that's going to give instead of the glue. Obviously, that's not what we're after. Okay, so same thing. Go to your next one. Kind of smear it on there. Then you just go up to it. Let me do it out here. Press it together. Wipe away the excess. Give it just enough time, and then twist it off. So now we've already got a fairly impressive looking template. Now this can work really good for decks. You know, uh, if you want to have like a round decorative deck, this is not a bad way to go about doing it. The last one's kind of tricky, because you got to do both of them. So you want to be a little bit more efficient, and a little bit faster. Okay, so I suggest you go to one first, get it, wipe it, twist it, then go to the next one, stick it, wipe it, twist it. Now give it, I don't know, 15 seconds. It, uh, in the lower settings it tends to set up a lot faster. So, here you go. Here is an example of a spell template that's a true 2D template. But I've got these connection points here, and they're not real strong, so what I want to do is I want to strengthen them. And originally I was hoping that these would flex enough so I could put it around the inside edge, but that's just not the case. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to find the, the happy medium, right? I'm going to lay down a glue line very thin doesn't have to be a lot and then I just find the happy medium and I just set it down as so obviously this is going to make storage a lot more difficult but again this is for this is for pretty games this is for games that you want uh, you know, like you've got a, a special boss or something at the uh, at the end, and he's got a really devastating area attack, and you want to really show that off. This is a great way, you know, if you've got the appropriate tools and the appropriate skills, this is a great way for you to show that in an actual you know, 3D MMO style uh, area effect, you know, like you see in, you know, Terra Online, Guild Wars, to all of those different style games. And with templates, you gotta love the spider webs, with templates, um, when it's on like the weird like he's on the edge kind of thing you can just uh, roll for it just like if there's a rules discrepancy in 40k or fantasy and you can't find the rules and each guy thinks they they know it you just dice for it and you keep going in the game well this is the same kind of thing should have done some really bad sci-fi hanging wire kind of thing but this is an example of like a fancy kind of spell template that you can throw down 
and uh, and have some fun with. And uh, you can even you know throw other things in there to uh, to show it off. You know, or off to the side. But it's it's quite handsome. Um, it is delicate. I certainly won't lie to you. But it's also like I said, it's it's designed for you know adults with adult hands. Um, so that's your how-to for the day on uh, 2D and 3D templates that uh, that you can make yourself if you've got the tools. And um, also, uh, these make great deck decorations uh, if you don't want to utilize these. They're not very high. Um, you know, that's a, he's hardly leaning at all, you know. You can get him right in the middle. And, uh, I mean, if you're worried about tippiness, just put them on it or put them off it. So, love you guys. There's your how-to. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a happy holiday. Love you guys. Bye-bye.